So now we look at example two. The expression fx is equal to 3x cubed minus kx squared minus 8x plus 4 has a factor 3x minus 2. So again from here, we know that 3x minus 2 is a factor. So which means that the remainder, so you have, we have to bear in mind, our remainder suppose is equals to 0. So suppose is equals to 0. So the question is, use synthetic division to find the value of k. So we wish to find the value of k. So again, this is our function. So first, we will, sub we will substitute the value here, which is x cubed, x squared, x, and constant. Next, the value down here. If here is x cubed, here is suppose is x squared. Reduce the index by 1. If here is x squared, here is x. If here is x, here is constant. And our final column, suppose is the remainder. So we will substitute the coefficient of those value here. So x cubed, the coefficient is positive 3. So we will substitute here is 3. For x squared, the coefficient is negative k. So we have to take into account for the negative. So here is negative k. For x, the coefficient is negative x. And for constant is 4. So next, I will let 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. So 3x is equal to 2. x is equal to 2 over 3. So I will substitute the value inside this column. So here is 2 over 3. So our first step, if you still remember, if the value is going down, we will sum up the column. So since here we did not have any value, so 3 plus let's say 0, so here is 3. So when the value is going up, we have to multiply with the value here. So here, 3 times 2 over 3, you can use your calculator. So here suppose is 2. Next, when this value when the value is going down. So we will sum up this value. So means that negative k plus 2. So since this is different numbers, so we only can write is negative k plus 2. So k and 2 cannot be summed up. Next, we go up to this column. From here, we have to multiply with 2 over 3. So next, negative k times 2 over 3 is negative 2 over 3k. Next is 2. 2 times 2 over 3. You can use your calculator, which is plus 4 over 3. So when we go up, we will sum out this column. So negative 8 will plus... 4 over 3. So from here, next step, here is negative 2 over 3k minus 20 over 3. You can use your calculator. Finally, when we go up to this column, again, we have to multiply with 2 over 3. So against negative 2 over 3, Multiply with 2 over 3. So we have negative 4. Oh, sorry. So I change to white color. So here we should have negative 4 over 9k. So negative 20 over 3. Multiply by 2 over 3. Will be equals to negative 
40 over 9. So when the value is going down, we will sum out this column. So this is negative 4 over 9k. 4 plus negative 40. So it means that 4 minus 40 over 9 will be equals to minus 4 over 9. So here, let's say I change to blue color. So here is our remainder. So if you still remember, since 3x minus 2 is the uh, 3x minus 2 is a factor, so the remainder suppose is equals to 0, which means that therefore negative 4 over 9k minus 4 over 9 will be equals to 0. Why? Because this is a factor. 3x 3x minus 2 is a factor. So negative 4 over 9 is equal to positive, eh, sorry, negative 4 over 9k. So negative 4 over 9k is equal to positive 4 over 9. So when come to here, k is equal to, so negative 4 over 9, when I move to right hand side, will become 4 over 9, divide by negative 4 over 9, which is equal to negative 1. So this is the value of k. So here, again, you have to remember, if 3x minus 2, if the divisor, so here is the divisor, is a factor, then the remainder will be equals to 0. Therefore, I equate this expression equals to 0. So now I found the value is k is equals to negative 1.